In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a 3D vertical bar chart slide uh, design in PowerPoint. And this is how the slide works. As you can see here, I've created one platform and then you can add some kind of a sales report, some text here and some kind of uh, a, a graph here. And when I click, it will show you the first option data one with the icon. You can put the 40% here with different grid and fill com color combination. When I click, it will show me with a different color combination, the second option, then the third option. So depending on the requirement, you can increase or decrease these options. And if you have not subscribed to my channel, PowerPoint University, please subscribe and make sure to enable the bell notification icon. You can join my Telegram group with the help of this link. And if you like to support my channel, you can do it through PayPal or Patreon. So let's start the tutorial. Add a new slide and change the background to any gradient fill background. For that, right mouse click, go to the format background and uh, from under fill, select the gradient fill. Uh, you can see here this particular gradient fill which I've used in the previous slide. That's the reason it's coming or you can just change according to your own requirement. So I've used these three colors, the dark purple, purple and the blue color combination. Then go to the insert shapes. From the basic shapes, I'm going to choose the diamond shape, draw a small diamond shape here maybe i'm just going to use uh, maybe 1.4 and 0.6 as the height and then you can just duplicate this by pressing the Control shift key and just drag it up okay and here i'm just going to duplicate one more time for my future use then make sure that both are these are no outline selected then i'm going to use one more rectangle shape to join this or the diamond shape for that go to insert shape select the rectangle draw the rectangle by joining this two shape outline again make it no outline and zoom in and make sure that it is properly aligned as you can see this is not aligned so i just need to drag this down and make sure that the width also remains same okay so here also it's this is okay and once this is done, I'm going to hold the control shift key, select and hold the control shift key and drag it. Now I'm going to increase the size. I'm just going to make it up. Okay. And then drag this also up the rectangle again, make sure it is properly aligned. All right. So you can see it is not aligned. So let me just align it properly. And I need to add one more bar again, select the these options and hold the control shift key and then drag it and then this one again move it more up okay and then you can just connect this one make sure that it is properly connected all right so once this is done what i'm going to do is i'm going to select these three objects Go to the shape format merge shapes union select this also again make it union and this also i'm going to make it as a union all right so let me just move this here the next thing which i'm going to do is i'm going to fill this with this color combination okay i'm going to select the gradient fill again here the direction which i'm going to select from this one which is the linear down all right and let me just select this color first go to the eyedropper and select this color then select this one eyedropper this color combination then third i'm going to choose this one all right and this is one also which i have just copied before so shape outline make it no outline press ctrl d and for this i'm going to choose this color combination and put it exactly on top you can see here just make sure it is properly aligned then i'm going to select the gradient fill again again based on the color selection i'm going to choose this one then i'm going to choose the second one the third one and here i'm going to select and duplicate this one and for this i'm going to choose a color of this one all right so let me just put it here and for this color combination I'm going to choose the third color palette, which is kind of a purple. You can see here. Then select this one and control D 
for this one i'm going to choose this color palette this color scheme okay so you can see here i have added this one now if you want to give some uh, uh, kind of a 3d effect also you can do it so i'm just going to select this one press ctrl d to duplicate and i'm going to cut this into half go to insert shape select the rectangle exactly select from the center okay make it transparent make sure it is properly selected from the center okay now i'm going to select this one hold the shift key select this one merge shape i'm going to intersect and i'm going to give a solid color which is white and i'm going to increase the transparency okay will be 75 76 percent and put it here then select this one and bring to front so you can see here i've given this one the same thing which goes here also press ctrl d again select the rectangle draw the rectangle again from the center all right so again i'm going to intersect this shape fill white make the transparency level to 75 percent and put it here and select this one bring to front the same thing which i'm going to do for this also so now again let me just select this again make sure that it is properly aligned in the center select this one hold the shift key merge shape intersect again solid fill 75 percent transparency and put it here and select this one bring to front so you can see here i have given this color combination again make sure that it is properly aligned then i'm going to select one by one ctrl g to group it you can see here ctrl g and this is also ctrl g now i can just move this somewhat closer and send this to back and move closer again select this one again move closer overlap actually and put it like this so you can see here i have got three designs ready okay then i don't want this one let me just delete this one and if you need to add some kind of a uh, platform for that go to insert shapes you can select the oval shape draw a oval shape like this shape outline make it no outline go to the effects under 3d format you can give any 3d format here you can see here and then i can give some depth to it so you can see here i'm giving some depth but it is not visible so for that you need to go to the 3d rotation and select any 3d rotation here so maybe this one or this one or could be anything you can see here different different so what we need to do is we need to just check the right one and put it here maybe this looks okay and then let me just reduce the size a little bit okay and then send this to back you can see here like this and again now depending on the requirement you can choose a different color combination also here again if you want the top be well if you don't want you can just remove this also and then just increase the width without the depth actually you can see here and give some dark color combination to it here maybe this color combination whichever color combination which you feel so once this is done what you can do is you can add the percentages here you can add some text to it so here i'm going to give the percentages go to insert text box and here i'm just say maybe 45 percent all right so make it any font of your choice open sans i'm going to say extra bold and font size i'm going to choose white center align if you want you can increase the size you can see here and put it here and then if you want to give kind of a, a light effect also let me just select this option Control c and Control v you can see here this option which you have selected okay and then i'm just going to put it here like this you can see here and press Control d you can just put it for the other side also all right maybe if you want you can just rotate it vertically and you can give a gradient fill for this and here i'm going to use only two stops for that what i'm going to do is i'm going to make it as white and here also i'm going to make it as white you can see here first let me just 
change the direction okay so here white but i'm going to make it more transparent here and this also make it transparent so you can see here the same thing goes here also so let me just make it more transparent also and here home format painter and put it here like this all right now i can just simply select this one and control d i can just copy it here okay and i can just copy it here too okay then you can just change this percentage i'm going to select this one control d to duplicate maybe this is a 60 percent and this is maybe 80 percent all right and then if you want you can just add more a uh, kind of uh, effects in the background also for example let me just go to insert shapes from the lines i'm going to select this one which is the curve line so i'm just going to draw some curve line like this a kind of a graph all right and then you can just fill this with any color you can see here maybe i am going to use some dark blue color shape outline i'm going to make it no outline then i'm going to the 3d rotation and i'm going to rotate the like this you can see here you can just put it increase the size and then send to back and for this also you can increase the depth okay so just increase the depth you can see here and then you can just play with these options also if you want more darker more lighter whichever way you want you can just put it like this all right and then if you like to add some more details also you can add if you want to add you can add some option numbers here option a b or c or you can add some icons to it 